All right, welcome everybody. Guys, my name is Jared. Welcome to Logan's Candies. I'm going to talk you through the demonstration here. What we have here is a mixture of sugar, water, and corn syrup. It's been cooking for about 45 minutes. When I put it on the table just now, it's a little bit over 320 degrees. So we're just trying to cool it down a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of color. And in about 20 minutes, we'll be on the table here pulling out some candy canes. How many of you guys are here for the very first time, never seen this before? How many first timers here today? Very good, wow, very good. How many returning veterans? How many people have been here before? Very good, welcome, well, welcome everybody. Glad you guys can make it. So we're gonna be making cotton candy. We're gonna do some hearts, we're gonna do some pillows, we're gonna do a few candy canes as well. So we're gonna do three colors here. We're gonna do a blue stripe or a light blue stripe. We're gonna do a pink stripe. And then we're gonna have a white stripe, which will be the biggest part of the candy cane, will be the white part, which is also the flavored part of the candy cane. Now we also do haircuts. If anybody needs a trim, happy to help out. If anybody needs a trim at all, then we're going to warn you only do one look at the bald look, because that's all I know how to do. Bald is beautiful, says the bald man. I think only the bald man, right? So I'm just kidding. <laughs> so we're going to start out with our blue stripe. We try to do the darker color first. We'll start out with our blue stripe today. Then we'll do our pink stripe, and last we'll do the white part, which is also the flavored part. We'll show you how we're going to turn the candy cane white. So remember, a little bit hot to start with, a little over 320 when I poured it on the table there. So I'm going to separate a little piece out here. We're going to do our blue stripe first, like I mentioned. Just going to separate a little bit out there. Just like that. And we'll add a little bit of color to it. So I'm going to do a quick love change here so we can add some color to it. Here we do lots and lots of... Uh, red for Christmas and pink as well, and red for Valentine's Day. But we're going to start out with our blue stripe here, and I'm going to use what we call a gel paste color, and all that means it is that not a water-based color. If you use a water-based color, it can kind of dissolve the sugar and make it a little bit sticky. So we're going to use a gel or a paste-based color. No flavor whatsoever, this is just the color only here. Down to the bottom of the barrel there. And we're going to fold that in for just about a minute or so. So remember, no flavor whatsoever. That is just the color only there. In fact, the pink stripe won't have any flavor either. All the flavor is going to be in the white part. So what that means is the candy cane is all white in the center, and the striping just goes on the outside edge to give it its ornate coloring. I'll just fold this in here. Now we do at Christmas time our candy canes in four different flavors. We do the traditional red and white. That is our number one selling candy cane by far. Traditional peppermint flavor, the traditional red and white color. We also do a cinnamon flavored candy cane, which is the red, white, and green like you see right there. Take away the big red stripe, we make it green so we can tell those are cinnamon. We also have a cherry flavored candy cane that is burgundy with a green and white stripe. Don't have a sample to show you that one, but it is very tasty flavor. And then we also have our root beer flavored cane, which we carry year round in the orange, yellow, and brown. We just made those last week as well. And we have um, some pillows and I think even a few candy cane hearts in root beer. So I've got the blue just about mixed in here. And I remember that big red thing over there is a heater. So that is a gas flame heater. We'll take it over there in just a minute. Someone will come out, keep it nice and warm. All right, there's our blue all mixed in, so I'll take that over to the table here. Cut a little bit off, like that. And we'll add a little bit of color to that as well. Once again, no flavor whatsoever, just the color only. And we'll mix that one in.
So remember, this big piece here will be the white part of the candy cane, which will also be the flavored part. Now for Valentine's Day, we make our candy canes in about five or six different flavors. We do peppermint, which is red, white, and pink. We have cinnamon, which is red, white, pink, and lavender. We also do, uh, we'll probably do a couple cotton candy hearts as well. And we do, uh, let's see, cherry, watermelon, pink lemonade, and even strawberry cheesecake, which is pink, red, and yellow. All right, so I've got my pink all mixed in. Let's take that over here and let Amy keep that one nice and warm. There's the pink all mixed in. Take that over to the table here. So remember, no flavor whatsoever, so now we're going to add a little flavor to it. Now remember when I poured on the table I mentioned earlier that it was a little over 320 degrees. It has cooled down quite a bit, but it's pretty incredibly warm still. So let's take a little reading here, see where we stand. We are at 100, and let's try that again. I don't think that's a good read. There we go. We are at 188 degrees right there. So you can see it's very, very warm at 188 degrees right there. Very, very warm. See that? 188. All right, so let's add a little flavor to it here. Remember, we're making cotton candy flavor, so we're going to add... It's not artificial. It's you know, just pure risk. Cotton candy flavor. We're going to add about a quarter, about a third of an ounce, a little more than a quarter ounce, a little less than a half ounce. Just like that. And we'll mix that in just like we did the color. And in just a minute, we'll show you how we're going to turn this nice and white. When we turn it white, we are going to turn it white all naturally. We're not going to add any uh, color to it to make it turn white. You'll see how that happens here in a minute. It has nothing to do with the flavor. It would still turn white even if there was no flavor at all. Just going to fold it in here a little bit. This is the part of the job where I feel very needed. It feels nice to be needed. Keep your eye on the big blob up here. Not me, the big blob on the slab. Rolling it out, rolling. Here we go, you guys, there it is. Thanks for coming, hope you enjoyed the show. There's your candy cane, let's all go home. And, all right, just kidding, that's not like maybe I get a little early lunch there. Not this day, not today. Although we do want you to know here at Logan's, we do put a little bit of love into every batch of candy we make. And just to show you how we roll, there's our heartless love for you guys. Little heart there, little heart. Let's all give a little, just let it be longer, there's the heart. Remember, Valentine's Day is just nine days away now, so coming up quick. Uh oh, a little flavor there. You'll probably smell the flavor in just a minute. All right, so we're going to do two things here on the hook. Number one, we're adding a little bit of air to it. Also, the stretching of the sugar crystal, and that's what causes the candy cane to turn nice and white. Very similar to the way you might whip egg whites at home, or how when you stretch out a rubber band, how the color lightens up a little bit. You can see with each and every pull, the color gets a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter. Or in my case, a little bit heavier and a little bit heavier. Now the whole thing is 20 pounds total weight. I've got about 16, almost 17 pounds on the hook here for the white part of the candy cane. There's about two pounds a piece or less between the uh, pink and the blue over there. She's keeping it nice and warm in front of the heater. So this is what we call Jerry's Gym, also known as my holiday health spa. Now we're gonna have to go to the gym this time of year. Okay, I confess I don't go to the gym any time of the year. This is the only workout I get right here, this is it. Although I do drive by the gym a lot because my favorite donut shop is right next door to the gym. I do love donuts. I think that's called job security, right? A donut shop next to the gym. That's not unlike having a dentist office across the street from a candy store. That is called job <laughs> security there. Then you'll notice as it gets lighter and lighter, it kind of starts to look like Elsa's hair from Frozen. We all know that movie made hundreds of millions of dollars. So we had our attorneys contact them as well. In this case, we asked for only half a percent. Once again, got no response at all. My wife keeps telling me, Jerry, you just have to let it go. <laughs> Thank you, I'll be here all day. And then just a few more pulls here. We'll take it over to the table and show you how we put it all together. But today we're going to do two stripes. We're going to do one big blue stripe. Looks a little bit green, but I hope it'll be blue. Also going to have our big pink stripe here as well. And then what Amy's working on right there is a big giant breath mint. Because we were told that somebody out there today has incredibly bad breath. 
Just kidding, that's going to be actually in the middle of the center of the candy cane. And we'll show you how we're going to put it all together here. We're going to take our big block here. Thank you, Amy. Let's stretch the big blue stripe out. Put it on that side of the block. Make sure it sticks there. Then on the opposite side, we'll take our big pink stripe. Stretch that out on the other side. Just like that. So now you can see on here, here on this side, we have our big blue stripe. On this side here, we have our big pink stripe. Anybody out there bowling? Any bowlers? Yeah. Can take that down the lanes. Anybody baseball fans out there? Anybody? Maybe big giant candy cane baseball or softball bat. Maybe big giant chicken or turkey leg there. Now use your imagination. If I had five stripes there, I'd give you a little guitar riff, but not very effective without the stripes. But use your imagination. Or how about this here? A big giant fish or a whale with a candy cane tail. Of course, it just looks like a big giant candy cane to me. When we get it just the right length and thickness, we'll give it a little twist. And right before your very eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we've created the candy cane. Here we go, a little cut. A little roll, a little bend. Let's all get a big round of applause for candy cane number one. Live and in color, I'll do it. Is. Candy cane number one. Here we go, another cut. More rolling. More bending. Give it up for candy cane number two right there. Nicely done. Stay with me because remember we still have 398 more to go. <laughs> now this size candy cane we make, this is actually the smallest size we're making right here. And if we continue to make this this size throughout the entire map by the time we're done, we will fill the entire table full of candy cane, stacking them row after row after row. And if we make just this size only, we make pretty close to 400 candy canes this size out of this one batch. Now we do this candy cane demonstration well over 250 times throughout October, November, and December. By December 20, uh, 31st this past year, we made pretty close to 100,000 candy canes one by one, just like you're watching now. Now as you can see, we work kind of in an assembly line here. I work right here in position number one. I pull the candy cane, making me the candy cane puller. Right here in position number two, Abby will be uh, Abby and uh, Megan doing uh, both shaping and uh, bending the candy canes, making them the candy cane vendors. Somebody will soon come out and stack the candy canes, making them the candy cane stacker. Then somebody will come out and bag the candy cane, making them the candy cane bagger. And if it happens to be our oldest employee who happens to be my mother-in-law, I'd have to give her the title of the old bagger. That is just her title, I never call her such a thing, just kidding. Now as you can see, we're all staying busy, but I have one job left. So if I could get a couple volunteers, we could use your help. Anybody want to help out? Great, because in the back room, a huge pile of dirty dishes right in the back you can do for us. No, I'm just kidding. What we really need is somebody to help us sample or taste test these candy canes. Any tasters? Come on, we have a rule here. No hand, no sample. Let's see those hands. Come on, let's fill here. Let's see those hands. No hand, no sample. Come on, anybody? Any samples? All right, that looks like a lot of you. Not everybody, but that's okay. We'll be realist. Now, this press is one of the few machines we use here at Logan's. We've been using the same press here at Logan since 1933. We call Abby the Fresh Up. And voila, we have some samples. So wait right where you are, they're gonna bring you out a nice warm sample. Remember they're slightly warm, but they're certainly not hot. So they're gonna drop it in the palm of your hand. Feel free to put it right in your mouth. Just don't bite it right down there. Just kind of eat it like you would a jawbreaker. So wait right there, we'll make sure everybody gets a nice warm sample.